happy Friday, everyone. I'm Bria Stokes, and welcome to This Week in Tabletop. We spend a lot of time these days discussing the increased speed of business. With the increased capabilities of our smartphones and tablets, we have more information available at our fingertips than ever before. Combine all this readily available information with the fact that success is often determined by a restaurant or company's agility and ability to quickly adapt to changing market conditions. And pretty soon, you can see the treadmill beginning to move at breakneck speed. We can choose to avoid the fast-paced changes to the world around us, or we can choose to engage and participate in the current acceleration and explosion of information that is available in our industry. So, restaurateur, manufacturer, or supply chain participant, in today's high-speed environment, how are you doing at remaining relevant to your customers? Remember, you have a choice and so do they. In the latest episode of Building 46, Katie and Ross catch a flight. Well, beer flights, that is. The two delve into why your establishment should be offering beer, flights, and much more. For more Building 46, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Speaking of beer, capturing the essence of what happens here stays here, and adult freedom, Las Vegas will unveil its limited edition of WHHSH Beer this month during one of the nation's largest music and arts festivals in Palm Springs, April 16th and 17th. Guests will celebrate the unveiling of the destination's craft brew with performances by chart-topping artists, delicious culinary offerings from top Vegas eateries, beauty services from the leading glam squads of the Strip, surprise celebrity guests, and much more. In product news, Fijio, Norwegian porcelain producer, has been awarded the Red Dot Design Award. And one look at its latest catalog makes it very easy to see why they are one of the premier trendsetters in tabletop right now. The Norway manufacturer refers to its products as porcelain art and their attention to height, shape, and color reinforces that notion with every plate. Their ever-popular Fijio Classic series offers two new trays and a bowl with a larger volume and surface for presenting food. New possibilities for us seem endless. The free collection aims to do what its name implies, free up your tabletop creativity. It's composed of organically shaped trays that lend to the dynamics and playfulness missing from tabletop. And when it comes to color, their skate collection has a splash of color that ranges from light to dark, providing a unique interaction with the food, changing its appearance depending on where it's placed on the plate. In essence, VGO has not only made color a part of their form, but they've now also made it functional. Which stacked alongside their foray into playing with shapes and height is just the kind of bold thinking that puts the Norway manufacturer on our watch list for future new product launches. Since 2003, the bold collections of Elite Global Solutions have been evolving over the years to provide a palatable array of food service options. Now, Elite has introduced their new line of modern European pizza accessories, all made from premium melamine. With the world of pizza changing rapidly, you need to be sure you are serving it in style to appeal to today's pizza guest. With the pizza's customer evolving, shouldn't you be evolving as well? Tabletop matters, even in pizza. And lastly, in product news, Spring USA looks to combine fun and function with their selection of micro accessory serving dishes. These individual portion sized pieces create excitement and added value to your menu. The variety of tasting dishes from Spring USA allows for mouth-watering presentations for your guests, whether it's for appetizers, bite-sized portions, or side dish servings. Micro accessory serving pieces are great for fine dining restaurants, cafes, sports bars, and catering facilities looking to enhance their presentation or eye-catching displays. In industry news, Rack Porcelain USA President Gene Williamson stopped by our Baltimore studio on his way back to their New York headquarters. Check out what he had to say about the just completed Adams Birch trade show, and the video will be at tabletopjournal.com. Well, that's it from us in the studio. Be sure to check out our website where you can find all the latest news in Tabletop and, of course, our new Building 46 episodes. As always, Tabletop Matters. I'm Bria Stokes, and we'll see you next week.